Make sure too, when we're talking about local versus global. And so when we were talking about those inner muscles, like Marty just said, your multifidi, the ones that you can't really see, we're talking at those as more as local. Those are the like localized within the spine. You, you know, if you've been with NASM from a long time, like for a very long time, like Marty and I, we learned it as intervertebral stability first. And again, that's just one muscle from vertebrae to vertebrae, um, you know, and, and we want to get those to fire. But then when we talk about the global muscles, those are the ones that are more um, on the outside. So when Marty was talking about kind of the, you know, the different muscles that you can see, those are the ones that move the spine. So you really want them to work hand in hand, but get the small ones to fire first. And again, that's why we focus on those exercises that we do. And we'll, we'll have some slides of what would be more appropriate when you're starting versus when you're getting up to the power phases. But just as you go through these um, different slides of anatomy that, that you know, we're going to show you, think about like, gosh, that is pretty deep or, OK, that makes sense. And that's why squeezing the glutes and drawing in and maintaining five kinetic chain checkpoints in that postural alignment is so important, because if you can do that and maintain it, these small muscles will fire. And, and I think for those of you, as we move forward that are more interested in this type of anatomy, think about the corrective exercise specialist. We go a little bit deeper, add to that level of knowledge that, um, you know, in the CPT, you start to see it, but in the corrective exercise specialist, we really go to that next level.